Well, at Gardenville today, we're going to be looking at the most magnificent magnolia tree. Isn't it Yes, superb? it's a nice one here. Uh, do you know what it's called? Well, no. Magnolia Susan. I don't believe it. <laughs> it is. That's why I planted it. <laughs> oh, that's absolutely brilliant. It's a hybrid one. It's a hybrid between uh, Magnolia Lilliflora nigra and Magnolia stellata rosea. And it comes out, the buds are these dark, dark colour here. It's absolutely And then it comes stunning. out and these sort of paler on the inside. Whoops, I'm knocking the petals off. And there is a slight scent from it. After the warmth is yesterday, it's, it's too cool here early this morning. Oh, right. But after the warmth yesterday, there was a slight smell. And it's suitable for a small garden because it only grows to about three metres, which is what it is here. Which is ideal for And you. Um, this one's going to have a bit of a prune now this summer because it's um, getting a bit... It's too big it's, now. It's come out a bit, sort of, you know, I probably should have started training it a bit earlier, but... Um, and Susan, um, Ma uh, magnolia is now an interesting tree because you see them budding all winter. Am I right that? Because well, I have one at home and I've kept saying, when are the flowers coming? Because it was sort of quite a chunky bud. Mm -hmm. So they really don't well, the come. bud will be sort of sitting there fairly dormant. It, it yeah. does begin to grow then in the, in the sort of early spring. Yeah. Now this is probably flowering a little later than usual this year because it's been a very cold winter. Right. And the leaves are out sort of... Almost with the flowers, which is unusual. Generally, you get much more flower before you get the leaf. Oh, really? And, and I suspect then the that's leaf down to the winter. Yeah. Right. Okay. So these sort of almost came simultaneously. So this I suppose year. a lot of people will be wondering what sort of care do you need to give a magnolia? Um, magnolia, you need an acid to a neutral soil. They don't like lime. Um, this one here, it's city soil, so it's bordering on the neutral. It survived nicely anyway here. Um, they wouldn't like total exposure, I wouldn't think, because A, a you're going to blow the petals off. The wind oh, yeah. we had the other night yeah. just flitted the petals. But otherwise, he seems to be quite, quite happy. And you were talking about trimming it back. Well, now, I read that you trim them in the winter. I was talking to a tree surgeon friend and he said to do it in the summer. So I was going to take this huge limb off. Oh, this, this would be this really holding, giving it which, the full thing now. Uh, but I think that's going to be too drastic. So I'll just be taking some of these branches back, right. Right, extending out into the garden. And then will that grow pretty quick then? Will it, um, I mean, are they slow growing or? This has been in about 10 years. It went in at about three feet. And this is what it is now. Absolutely beautiful. And feeding, is it the usual um, sort of thing? I would like feed noise? it if you need to feed it. Use a sequestered iron or something and water it a couple of times during the growing season, the early part of the growing season. Right. But this one, I'm afraid, gets scant attention. It just... And right. as you can see, you can probably see the bird feeders all hung off it for the winter. I know, yeah, which is lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's a scream a tree called it's after a, you. It's a great <laughs> one for a small garden because it really doesn't get too big. Yeah, which is lovely. And it's quite and a such, nice deep colour. Isn't it lovely at this time of the year? I mean, we're in March, in April. April, just beginning yeah. of April. And yeah. um, to have that just starting off the growing season, it's really oh, lovely. Yeah. It's super, it does Great. Really. Okay.